Hi, Cindy. My name's Tony. Um, I reached out to your guys' company on Tuesday and spoke to Kaylee quickly and let her know that I wanted to send you guys over this video. And uh, Kaylee was kind enough to provide her uh, email address and let me send the video to her and mentioned that she would send it um, on to you if she thought it was uh, valuable and worth your time. So, Kaylee, I hope it's worth uh, <laughs> valuable and worth your time. Um, so what I wanted to do today is give you guys three tips on how you can improve and increase your online presence to help you generate additional business, specifically via your website. I do this for free for small businesses and small business owners. The only thing I ask is if you find it valuable, just reply to the email and let me know your thoughts. Any feedback would be uh, super welcome. Now, what I want to do is go over Google's three main ranking factors. That's content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll start with content. That's just the words and images here on your homepage that I'm focusing on. We suggest 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. Google really values well-written authoritative content. It's the way it can ensure that its users get the best experience possible. Now, your website is beautiful. It's got an awesome layout, but I'm not seeing a ton of content. I'm just copying what I can here and putting it here in this um, app. And 462 words is what I'm seeing total. And some of those words are probably hiding behind images or something because, oh, maybe testimonials because um, I'm not really seeing that many words here. So um, definitely could use some more words. And the secondary uh, thing with the amount of words I'm talking about is these kind of keywords here like this, roofing Jacksonville FL, this gets searched 300 times a month in Jacksonville alone. Um, there's variations on that specific keyword. And the more of these kind of keywords there are for these bigger cities, the more words you need to be able to get them interlaced into your content without looking spammy. Because um, if you don't have these kind of keywords on your homepage, you won't be found for them. So that's super important. Okay. So when I search this word, the first um, roofer that comes up is Prime Roofing. So I'm going to look them up and I'm going to copy their content and see how many words they have. Now they only have close to 700, so not much more than you. So that, that's actually a positive sign. If they're in position one with 700 words and you're in position, I don't know what yet, uh, with 500-ish, if you get to 1,500 or 2,000, you're going to knock them out of the park with this particular ranking factor. So that's that's a good thing. So let's move on from that. Um, after doing this search, at the top here, we get the um, sponsored ads, paid ads, Google trying to make its money. I don't want to focus on those today. Below this, this is called the map pack. Now, this is super important for small businesses like yourself. About 50% of the volume, that uh, search volume, is going to call or click one of these three listings. So you want to be here. If you're not here, you're missing out on a lot of traffic to your site and a lot of phone calls. Now, how do you get here? Um, that's called citations. And citations are nothing more than your company name, phone number, and web, uh, sorry, and address out on directory sites around the web. These are sites like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack, Facebook. Add your company to about 10 to 15 of these kind of uh, sites a week. And over time, your Google business listing is going to start rising in the ranks here in the map pack. Um, the one thing you want to be careful of is making sure you're consistent with the uh, way you enter that data. Consistency is key. So the area below here, this is called the um, organic results. And organic results are more affected by something called backlinks. And all the backlink is is your website address in a clickable format. When I say clickable, I mean like here where you hover over it and it becomes clickable out on another website. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. You want to make sure the backlinks you get are from trusted sites, and if at all possible, sites that are relative, related to your niche. So maybe a home improvement website or blog. You could even provide, um, often provide a article to a uh, blogger, and they'll take that article and trade you a backlink for it so they can keep their blog active. And that would get you a solid, strong backlink, assuming that that blog is uh, trusted and maybe it's been around for a while. Um, give you a solid backlink to your site. So that's content citations and backlinks. I'm going to copy your competitor's uh, URL here and put it in this platform, uh, this uh, tool called AREFS. This is a tool I pay for monthly and uh, it gives me some uh, insight on in what Google knows about a website. So these stats are important. So 642 here for Prime Roof. This is the amount of websites that has Prime Roof's um, URL in, on it. So backlinks, aka backlinks. They're being found for about 3,800 keywords. That's getting them about 1,700 clicks a month. So if we drill into the keywords, you're going to see here, this is the one I searched earlier. That's 300 volume. They're in position one here, and they're getting 78 traffic uh, or clicks just for that keyword alone. So say they close 10% of that.
for that one keyword. That's eight new roofs or repairs a month. That's solid. I take that any day. Um, they're being found for all these weird keywords here. Um, but another strong keyword here is Jacksonville Roofers. 250 search volume. They're in position eight and only getting 11 clicks for that. But if they were to power up to position one for that, that's going to get them another 60 some clicks. So that's say 140 total clicks, 14 new roofs a month. Um, if you, uh, if you rank for both of those keywords. So I don't know what that would mean for your company. Maybe you don't need the additional traffic right now, but maybe in the future you will. Um, so that hopefully is some useful information. Now, if we're looking at Cache Roofing's uh, stats, you got about 15 of those backlinks. 246 total keywords are being found for it. That's getting you about 38 total clicks. And if we look at what kind of keywords, um, your company name, Synthetic Roofing, this is a national keyword, so you're not even going to... What you want to do is find keywords that say, like, Roofing Jacksonville, FL. Um, and your company name, that's great to rank for that. But if people are searching for that, they're already searching for you. They just want your phone number. Roof cleaning. Uh, okay, so I, I'm not going to go past page one here. But it's obvious that those kind of keywords that I was finding for your competitor here are not showing up in yours. And that's directly related to the kind of content you have on your homepage. So we definitely need to get some actual verbiage on there that uh, contains, you know, titles, title tags that contain keywords, and then paragraphs that contain keywords. Well written, but still keyword rich. And uh, that is going to help uh, get you found for those kind of words you want to be found for right now. I mean, at the moment, you're generating almost no traffic via your website. And maybe that's okay. Maybe you guys don't need the traffic right now because I know a lot of you guys are super busy right now. But again, in the future, you might. So that's all I have for you today. I could go on forever, but I don't want you guys staring at this image and um, listening to me for too long. Um, that's, it gets boring. I know that. So hopefully this was useful. Again, if it was, I would welcome any uh, replies with uh, feedback. Um, hopefully I gave you some tools to help you help yourself if you're so inclined. But again, obviously this is what I do for a living. So if you guys you know, want to work on your site, but you're not really interested in doing it yourself, I'd be happy to chat and see if I could be of service. So with that, Kaylee, thanks for taking my call earlier. And Cindy, if you're listening, I hope you find this information useful. You guys have a great day and uh, hope to hear from you. Bye-bye.